Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and Mozilla just released the newest version of the alpha of Fennec for Windows Mobile. That's their mobile web browser that's trying to be kind of like Firefox on a mobile device. And it's come a really long way. It's still not perfect, but let me go through what's changed and what's different. And uh, I think you'll actually be quite impressed with how this is shaping up. So let's get closer in on the screen. Here we are on Amazon.com, and of course you can move your finger around to go around the page, or you can tap on links. Now with Fennec, what you do to get to multiple tabs is you swipe your finger to the right. Then you get a tab menu here, and right now I have three different tabs open. If I tap on the second tab, I will be taken to Hulu. And it doesn't appear that this version of Fennec will support Flash. It says Hulu requires uh, Flash Player 9.0 or higher. And if we swipe again to the left, we can quickly close one of these tabs by just tapping on them in the upper left corner. Or we can add a new one by tapping the plus button and typing in a web address. Now, speaking of typing in a web address, when you tap on the address bar, and here we go, um, what you'll get is your recent history. In addition, you'll get this little bar along the bottom so that you can search right from Google. And it's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit buggy right now, but you can go to answers.com. If you swipe your finger to the right, you saw eBay down there, Wikipedia. So this allows for really quick access to a Google search or a Wikipedia search right from the address bar. So let's swipe back to the right and go back to Amazon. Now, as, as we mentioned in the previous video about Fennec, you can actually view the security certificate information about this, bra about this website, just like you would on the desktop version of uh, Mozilla Firefox. If we want to add this to our favorites, there's a little tiny button over here. And we've already done that. And here's our bookmarks menu. I've already added Amazon.com to this folder. If we tap on Manage, we get a, a, a more granular view of our bookmarks. We can close out some of them if we want to delete a new folder that I made earlier. Or you can make a new folder completely, put a bunch of them into the same folder, and go from there. Now, swiping to the right... And it's really interesting how Mozilla has made use of the limited space on a small screen device. Swiping to the right will bring out the forward and back button, although I think this should have been placed up here somewhere, uh, plus the favorite button. And just like Firefox on the desktop, if you tap on the star, a uh, filled in star means that it's a favorite, but a uh, hollow star means it's not. And down here, we have the settings button. So let's go into that now. Now, by far, one of the coolest features that's going to be in Fennec when it's released as a full version is the ability to add on extensions. If you're running Firefox, you probably have multiple extensions loaded that will customize the browsing experience. So, for example, imagine having Xmarks, which is a program that synchronizes all your bookmarks and all your passwords, loaded on your mobile device. So you could have your Facebook password, your banking password, anything that you want to take with you right on your device. Right now, the plugins are very limited. In fact, there are only four under the Recommended tab. There's a Twitter plugin, there's one for scripting and uh, one for fixing URLs. If you tap on search, you get a search bar, though I've tried searching for certain ones like um, like X marks, for example. So I type X marks and it actually searches as you type and you're going to see that it comes up with no matches. So I'm not sure if Mozilla has in mind that all of the extensions on um, Firefox desktop will be available on the mobile version or only if certain ones will be certified. We'll have to find out more about that later. So let's continue in the settings here. If we go to the down button, or the down arrow, this is a download manager that lets you sort by date, site, name, and you can actually search through them. And finally, down here, there's a little settings icon, and this lets you change certain settings. Let's zoom in. I know it's really small on the screen. Um, you can have it load images automatically, enable JavaScript, um, JavaScript chasing, tracing. Uh, you can turn on and off plugins, because sometimes it may slow down your device. Privacy and security. Things about passwords being saved and cookies and private data, you can clear it from there. The overall browsing experience is somewhat clunky. Uh, it's usable, definitely, but it's not as refined as Opera Mobile 9.5 at this point because this is an early alpha release. It'll be really interesting to see with how Mozilla continues to evolve Fennec, and we can't wait for a full release and the ability to have extensions and really bring that Firefox-like experience to a mobile device. And it's really interesting how they've how they've innovated on a mobile device. It's, it's really different stuff that we're happy to see. So that's it for Fennec. For more on this and for download links, check us out at pocketnow.com. That's it for now.